Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to the new update. Uh, we basically just got the new event launched, and this is the the Gemini event. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking a look at the event as well as the new monsters, taking a look at their visuals and all that stuff. Now, we'll, we're probably going to have to start with a fire. The fire one is. Ooh, they look, they look quite amazing. Variant versions. Mm, their variant versions look a little bit weird. All right, never mind, never mind. Ooh, this. This is awesome. Wait a minute. They, they, like, they remind me of the Venuses, but like, tiny versions. Just look at, look at, look at the Venus, her evil one form. And then, um, where are they? And then the evil three forms of these. Looks looks really really similar. Oh, the light one, light one actually has some nice colors. I actually like the non-variant colors a lot more on the light one. I think this is the this is the one shown on the event page. You know, with her being the the pink one, and then this one being the blue one. Wait, where where is she? All right, so this is the dark version. Um, they look like chocolates on the, the variant versions. Look at this. Ooh, the the variant version of the dark ones look a lot better. So I'll be taking a look at all their skills and stats as well. Um, I guess I might as well. So we'll start with the fire one. Uh, where is the fire one? Or right, over here. I'm going to take, be taking a look at their max level stats. Now she has pretty decent amount of HP. Um, she's defender type. Low attack, high defense. So she's really, really tanky. She's basically like a fire tank. But she restores HP based on damage dealt. Now this makes no, no sense at all. Because you need to be able to do damage in order for you to sustain. I thought she would, she would have been a really nice monster to use for Golem B9. But from the looks of this, I don't think it's going to be that 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 good um she does have like she's basically like a snowy because she also restores allies hp and she's fire it might work but i'm not sure like you know um this can still heal a little bit and then this can maybe heal a lot like if you gem her with like full attack or maybe like crit um maybe crit double attack that could work because she's already like super tanky. Um, if you have a little bit of substats, you basically would be pushing. You'll be pushing like yeah, you'll get near like 3k health, and then defense will be like over 2,500. So she should definitely be able to survive. And then if you have some like decent amount of attack, um, but her attack's actually really low. Like actually, if you're only using like a level 50 version of her, it might be worth using only flat gems as well. I don't know, it might it might be like a Well honestly you could skip to B10. A lot of people can actually skip to B10 depending depending on the gem slots of their, their B10 team. Um if you avoid triangle, there's actually a way for you to skip B9 and go straight into B10. And I think the light Venus or not Venus, uh Gemini is actually really, really good for B10. She has a very, very high HP pool, decently high defense, and an okay amount of attack. Um, her stats didn't really go into recovery, so stat-wise, this monster is really, really nice. She also has, you know, adrenaline, which makes her a passive healer, and then also has an attack down as her second scope. So that's actually pretty good. She's also light, so it means that if you're using her as um, along with like a like Victoria or something, you will be able to dual tank um, on B10 and be able to just, you know, kind of. Kind of have two units kind of split up the damage, and then she'll be healing herself as well as the Victoria at the same time. So I think it's going to be really, really nice to to grab her if you're at the point where you won't be able to, um, like, if you you're, if you aren't able to do B10 and you're thinking of moving into it, um, she, I think she's going to be a really, really good monster for that. Now the other monster we have is the dark version. Um, the dark one is a balance type with. Most most of its stats going into attack. The recovery is a little bit higher, which is kind of a little bit sad. I was I was kind of hoping that maybe she would have slightly higher attack for a balance type because she she would be dark, and then she also has this like SP cycle. Oh, 
She needs to crit for this to work. And then she needs to crit to sleep. Ooh, that's not... That's not good. Okay, so, um... In my opinion, I think only the... Only the light one's really, really good. Um, the other two aren't really worth it. I thought she would, she would have, like, uh... She would have this without crit. And then this also without crit. But I guess, you, since she is dark, you could go crit rate... Um, you know, HP attack or something like that. It could it could probably work? Or if you're using her for, I don't know where you would use her. SP siphon um, could work for PvP. You can use her as like a dark support type monster, and then she can boost her own SP bar, and then ha have an AOE CC. It might work for like mid mid tier PvP. Um, but honestly, I don't really think she's worth the resources. If you wanna, like, if you're trying to farm a lot, um, I would rather, probably, for most people, like, if I were, if I were at the point where I'm only like, you know, doing B7, 8, and 9, I think that's where most of the players that are playing the game are at. I would definitely be looking to grab a light one as my number one priority, because the light one's actually really, really good. Like stat-wise, it's excellent. Um, Skill-wise, you know, this this adrenaline just makes her just very very valuable. The attack down's not too good, but it's still it's still nice. Like you can kind of throw her into your Titans team, it it would still it would still work. And she's also light, which makes her really really good because there's no other light passive healers except for that really shitty light Cosmo, who also needs crit. So you know he's he's really really squishy. Um, but you can gem her with like triple HP and she's going to be like really, really tanky. So she'll be able to tank damage as well as heal your team. And then if you use like another light unit like the light Victoria, which everybody has because she's free, um, you will be able to basically dual tank and golems B10. And yeah, she's she's really nice. Um, the resist leader is not too useful. I thought this was going to be a global resist lead, but it turned out to be only for chaos tower. So... I would actually not make her a variant. She she looks way better without the variant color. Um, now there's actually one other thing I do want to point out. It's that when you know if you complete if you're trying to complete the astro guide, um, whenever you you evolve a monster like a four star monster to to max level, you actually get or evil three, you actually get um, 180 astro gems. And you combine that with the gems of making it actually evil three, so that's like 300. And I think you get 60 for evil two. So that is like, um, it's like 340 plus this. I think this one gives like 20. So that's 300, like 360 Astro Gems to basically make her Evil 3. So what I'm trying to say is like, you you get 360 Astro Gems. I forgot the actual cost in order to make her Evil 3, but um, it's actually worth it in terms of the the gold spent and the astrogen that you get in return to make her evil 3 even if you don't want her at all like even if you're not interested in raising the the gemini's um because they're four star monsters it's actually worth it for you to raise them to evil 3 just for the astrogems it's actually worth it like for in terms of uh in terms of efficiency like just you know gold to astrogem efficiency that's that's what i'm trying to say so yeah, definitely, definitely raise one. Like, if you can, raise both a light and dark one. And the other other really good thing is, since they have, like, three-star counterparts, it's cheaper to evolve three-star monsters than four-stars. So you basically, you get the reward of of um, evil 3 a four-star monster with, um, you know, part of its cost being evolving three-star monsters. So that's actually a really, really good deal. You should definitely raise them to evil 3 if you have them. Um, just even if you don't want them at all, you, you should just do it, do it for astrogens. But I don't know why you wouldn't want them. Like just just look at them. They're they're so cute. They're 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 this cute. All right, just just grab them. All right, so that's that is pretty much it. I think for the um, event or for the monsters. Now the other thing I wanted to take a look at is actually the fusion or not the fusion the the rebirth for them. Now this. Um, they're pr basically added to the rebirth list, meaning that you will be able to get them from rebirth. And I think, I think, are they on the normal rebirth? Oh yeah, you can get them from rebirth here as well, as well as you can get them on the guaranteed rebirth over here. So that's that's actually really really nice. Um, 
yeah, definitely really awesome. So, shouldn't be too hard for people to get them. They did mention that they, they do spawn on the maps, but they have like the same rate as a legendary. So this one has like, you can get a dark one here, and then you can get a dark one here. I think you can only get a light one in Phantom Forest. Wait, that, that makes no... Oh, you can get... You can get the light ones in second continent. Second and third continent. And on first continent, you can get the dark one. So that's actually really nice. I can I can literally be like farming Slumbering City. And I could I could grab some of these. Alright, so I'll definitely I'll I will definitely raise them both to Evo 3. Um one for collection purposes, two for the Astrogen. So it's definitely still like it's 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 worth it. Just just do it. Alright, just raise them to Evo 3. Alright, I won't tell you what to do, but you'll you'll be missing out on a lot. You'll be missing out on double twin lolly if you if you skip out on this skip out on this event I can't even talk right now I'm like tired as all hell but I you know it's 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 a new update so here we are anyways I think that is pretty much it um, even if you don't want the monsters still raise them like so that's that's the <laughs> that's the conclusion here like so you don't really need to ask me should I should I be raising them um, just you know like should I be evil 3 or trying to get one to evil 3 um, my answer is yes because it's worth it in terms of astro gems and if you're if you're trying to get through like progression and stuff um, and you're asking me which one is the best I would definitely say to get the light one first before anything and then you can try to get the dark one for the astro gems and then I was thinking the fire one would have been good for b9 but she turned out to be like a full tank type so she won't be healing too much um, you might as well just grab the light one because the light one can help you get into b10 relatively easily so that's pretty much it. Now, I'm gonna get to farming now. I'm just gonna try to <laughs> try to grab one, and maybe tomorrow I'll be able to, um, you know, show show them off or something like that. Like I'll maybe be able to raise one to Evil Three. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna start farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.